awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. When He rolls up His sleeves, He ain't just putting on the ritz. Our God is an awesome God. There's thunder. Maybe I'll make some out of water or something, or, or some sushi, or some herby focaccia. Oh, man, it's totally rad, man. It's totally rad. Yeah, what's crack? Hey, what's up, homie? What's up, homie? It's all good. My dad's really happy with me. He loves you, too. Your dad loves me? Oh, he loves everybody. Oh, that's cool. Yo, like even when they catch his wave, or when he gets cut in line at the amusement park, or even when he orders a chai latte, and somebody steals it, and then the man's like, who in God's name ordered a chai latte? Oh, shit, he sounds like a cool dude. I mean, he used to be a little bit nasty, but then I came around and he dropped it. Man, I never really knew my dad. Yeah, he's kind of distant, though. I mean, he travels a lot. It's kind of crazy, but I still love him, even though all my friends say I shouldn't because of what he did to me. All right, man, look, I got to get back to normality. Yo, it's cool, homie. Be cool. Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Ugh. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ugh. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you? Please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Thank you. 
Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, this How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Good. My ass is dead. 
car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. This officer. Is entirely uh, necessary. Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick! And you, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Well, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool! Opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rise and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> the only thing to figure out now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? I'm just biting my time. I wouldn't write me off just yet. Hey, look. Devin Weston. He ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to push cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. 
Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Hey, what up, Stretch? Hey, man. Round the way, they saying you got this high-end whip lick on the go. Is that what's up? Man, don't listen to them fucking snitches, homie. You know what's happening. Where my cut, motherfucker? You got to bring the OG in, you dig? Nah, I don't dig, motherfucker. I ain't into that pyramid shit no more. Man, that gangbanging time warp shit is done. Man, when you win, you win, little homie. I'm gonna get my end. Is that right? Well, good luck with that. I'm a hipster! This is ironic! Come on! Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. You pissed off the wrong officer. You the ride along? Get on board. Ride along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Sounds good. We're gonna go see my pal. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Mm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. Hey, buddy, look, 
I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor, or a writer, or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal, and your boss... Right, right! There he is, over by the oil derricks. Let's see if we can scan him. Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for us down that way? I'll follow in the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Uh, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan, all right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Got no care. The stupid boxes. This isn't the one. I got you, you creep. It's a free country. I know my rights. Not and our you, guy. You got him. She's showing it off. She wanted me. We ain't rocked. found him yet. You're a very sick man. Come in, Franklin. Suspect not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of him. Roger that. Enjoying it? I'm ah, out there against some sure this is encountering. I mean, gotta keep you looking. a decent wage. I expect some enthusiasm. Zaff Bull. Zaff Bull! Going south on Dutch Drive. Suspect 
Suspect going west down alley toward El Rancho. Going north on El Rancho. Woo, woo, woo. All units be advised, we have a possible joyrider heading west on Howick in a black Z type. Hey man, you getting other cops on this shit? Nah, homie. So you'd appreciate the authenticity. Oh, okay. Well, I fucking don't. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me. Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael.
Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! a soft landing! Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael, Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal, so now He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs>
Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Richards has been worried sick. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Huh? Did you need to fly under the bridges? Whoa! How did you know there was enough clearance? I don't do stunts. Jesus Christ, man. You know who you got in here? Just fucking slow down. Huh? Did you need to fly under the bridges? Enough. Enough. All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do 
And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Mr. Madrazo, how's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. <sighs> okay, well, look, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're awful. I'm making bad decisions here, and other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me, and they won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean, one minute I'm fine. Next, the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. There's a part of me, Doc, and I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report, not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress, see? Treatment works when you try. 
Ever since I pulled that house apart, Doc, I ain't been myself. Not at all. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. This. It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! ¿Qué no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Hey, and let's stay in touch on the headsets. Okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there, to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet.
this off-road if I'm staying with the play. There's a small jump coming up! Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. No, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. 
I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? happened why did he have his car Man, that piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap bastard you know i really don't know why you mess around with people like that mike i mean really i Tell don't him. answer fucking question i asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work then he kind of got a little angry so i admit i kind of got a little angry did you kill him what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia. She already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice little oh, place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Man, you cool. <laughs> Fest the ball, chop chop. <laughs> That's trio, homie. Get on in here, come on. You know the way home, Chop. Go! I just wish I could get a bigger bag of this good shit and Tanisha and go live on an island some fucking where. I could be on some motherfucking island motherfucking with this woman. 